Another important topic in the spirituality of St. Therese is her doctrine on spiritual childhood or the little way. And that takes step by step. She starts, I always wanted to be a saint. She is speaking to Agnes. But when I compared me and the saints, I found the un unsurmountable distance. Saints are like a mountain and I am a little grain of sand, the valley of that mountain. So this grain of sand cannot by itself reach that summit. So it is impossible. And there, her third argument. But Jesus cannot inspire in me impossible things. It should be possible. As we heard this, spoke also about charity, you know. So love your neighbor as I have loved. It is an impossible thing, but cannot ask me to do impossible things. In the same way, she is always arguing with Jesus. You cannot inspire me to have a, become a saint and it should be possible for me. And I thought I should find a easy way of going up by using a, a spiritual elevator lift. And uh, it is said during her trip to Italy, uh, when she was 14, she, they were staying in big hotels. So lift was already in use in big cities like Rome, uh, Paris and so on. So she has seen the, how easy it is to go up in a lift. And using that uh, example, she says, I want to find a spiritual lift which should raise me to the mountain to become a saint. And then finally she says, that lift, Jesus, it is your arms. I should place, place myself in your arms and you will lift me up. And thus, that means, left to me, it is impossible, but with your help, I can become a saint. And she finds two biblical texts to support her view or conviction. One is the book of Proverbs, ninth chapter, fourth verse, which says, Who are is a little one? Let him come to me. Another prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, verses 13 and 12. Uh, it goes this way, As one whom a mother caresses, so I will comfort you, and you shall be carried at the breast, and upon the knees they shall caress you. And then she says, Ah, oh, never did the words more tender and more melodious come to give me joy. The elevator which must take me to heaven is your arms, O Lord. And for this I had no need to grow up, but rather I had to remain little and become this more and more. Oh my God, you surpassed all my expectations. I want only to sing your mercies. So these words here, I mean, to be carried by Jesus in his arms, I should be small, I should be a little one, I should not grow up. And if not, it will be too heavy for Jesus to carry. I mean, the simple way of putting it. So I should remain simple and uh, a little one, and sing the mercies of God. So, uh, to come to the uh, practical application of this to, uh, is spiritual childhood, on the one hand, is to recognize our own weaknesses, our own sinfulness, our own limitations. Despite our good aspirations, but that humble gesture is not a discouragement but on the other hand, it is a call to trust in the goodness and power of Jesus. That means 
it is not passivity. It is to cooperate with the God's grace uh, whenever the occasion is arise and do whatever is possible. The rest leave in his hand. He will take you up. He will make you a, a saint. He will take you up the mountain. And uh, so this becomes practical for everybody. And uh, at the end makes another remarks when we face the Lord after death she says we must approach Jesus with empty hands especially people like me who have no much time left this will be a consoling word when I meet the Lord I have nothing to boast of my own actions my own merits it is your mercy O Lord I come to you with empty hands that is spiritual childhood on one side, accept our limitations. Secondly, trust in the mercy of God. At the same time, doing whatever we can according to our ability, cooperate with the grace God gives us continuously in our life. And we will be a saint. We'll climb up the mountain. Though I am a grain, but I am rich there. That is spiritual childhood.